folks, in today's video, Paul is going to replace this push button switch with this read switch. So Paul, can you just first say what a read switch is? Okay, it's just a simple switch like the one we're going to replace, but instead of it being operated by your finger, it's operated by bringing a magnet close to it, about an inch away. So you can see there that there's two separate pieces of wire uh, almost touching. And when you bring a magnet close to it, they touch, don't they? And that's this electrical switch action, yes. Yes, completes the circuit. That's right. So the reason why I'm interested in reed switches is because they're used a lot in models and toys, aren't they, Paul? Mm, they are. So an example is Moji's brush. The brush has a magnet in it, mm -hmm. and Moji will have what's probably a reed switch um, in his back, so that when you brush him with the, the brush, he then gets hearts displayed on his uh, collar tag and a picture of the brush. So that's an example. So first Paul is going to replace this push button switch with a read switch and then once he's done that we'll make a little circuit and we'll test it out. That took three minutes to get off, mm. and you broke a little green log. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other three logs would probably be enough to keep it in place, though, wouldn't they? Oh yeah, I should think so. Well, look, nothing that a little uh, dab of glue wouldn't sort out. So we've got access to the switch. So if you want to replace that with a reed switch, mm -hmm. what do you have to do? Um, Desolder these two wires, that one and that one. Mm -hmm. That switch should just pull out then. Do you desolder and I do that? Yeah. Um, and then get the uh, reed switch and bend the wires so that they go through these holes. And All just right. Solder them in, and that's it. All right. Good. Mm. Yeah, we're going to take this switch off. Mm -hmm. Desolder that first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take the red wires off. Because we'll be soldering those back to the reed switch. So you're getting rid of the solder now? Yeah, this sort of stuff will just uh, pull it off by capillary action when it's heated up. Oh, that's clever. Solder wick it's called, mm, is it? Because it sort of wicks it up. I suppose we could just pull the switch off with pliers because we don't want it. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter if it's damaged from not using it. But doing this method means it'll come off without doing that. And, uh, oh, right. Just sort of makes a neater job. Yeah, it's coming off now. Okay, so we've, we've got the... Uh, Ooh, came off quite easily, really. We've got the switch. Yeah, and the switch is not damaged. You switch can is not reuse damaged, the no. switch, that's good. So we've picked one of these reed switches. So we've got to mount that through those holes. So I'll have to bend the leads appropriately. Yes. Bend it like that first of all and then back on itself because it's a bit too wide to go through. So 
say reconnect in the, the yeah, wires. Yeah, reconnect in the red, red wires. Yeah, but, but now they're connected to the, to the reed switch, yeah. wires on the reed switch. Joint seems to be okay. So that's it. So that's the reed switch mm, mounted where fabulous. the press switch was. So now you just need to put it uh, back in the white casing. Mm -hmm. I suppose, what do you call it? It's holder, it's box. Casing. Casing. That's it. Mm -hmm. So now you've got a reed switch. We've got a reed switch that can be used in snap circuits. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to try that and see if it works. Yeah. So we just tried this on a circuit and we tried it to switch an LED on and off and the LED was on constantly and when Paul took this apart again he saw why it was. You yeah. made a boo-boo didn't you? I made you? a boo-boo, I soldered the uh, reed switch uh, here and here and this is a, is yeah. a copper link. So um, it's like the circuit's not broken. No, it's just a short circuit all the time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. one of the wires should have been to one of these other pads here. Yeah. yeah. And and the uh, reed switch as well. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to cut here with a scalpel to break break this track, and that should allow the reed switch to work yeah. properly. So I'm attempting to break the track with a scalpel because it's only very thin copper foil. That should probably be it. So that's the circuit. We've got a LED and the resistor in because you've got to use a resistor of an LED. Got the LED in the correct way. And now we're going to add the reed switch. And good, it's not come on this time. So when we bring a magnet towards the reed switch, we should see this. Come on. Oh, okay. Exciting. So I've got a magnet here. Okay. Yay! Hey. Success! Five, so three. I go into one end of the reed switch. One end. Rather, rather than the middle. Yeah, it works better, doesn't oh, it? it works better if you're going towards one end. Mm. Yeah. Great. Lovely. So, folks, a success. Hope you found that interesting. We'll be adding other new components to our snap circuits in the future. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching and see you next time.